uh, decided to move to the lead up. To what extent were uh, analytics involved there, if at all? Um, interesting, interesting question. Is uh, is it, based on opportunities? You know, uh, actually talking to Zach. Uh, in our department, it, it really doesn't move the the needle that much. It's just obviously you talk about RBI opportunities. You know, let's say he plays 150 games, he leads up 150 games, so he's 150 at bats with nobody on. Um, or there's some elements <coughs> that. Obviously, you can map it out, but when you are watching the game and all that stuff, you, know, you start thinking how you're going to manage the game, the things that you can do, how much you can run, how many things you can do from that two spot compared to last year. All that stuff comes into play. So, yeah, a lot of stuff that goes into it. Did you? Was part of the saying don't mess with success and just leave it there? Um, I mean, just wait and see. <laughs> you know, it's just one of those that, like I said, you put everything in paper and you think about it and you see it and then you start managing the game in your mind. <clears throat> and it might work, it might not. We might go back, we might not. I'm not saying. But it's, it's different when you see what's going on on the field because one of the aspects that makes us good offensively is how dynamic we are when we run the bases. And you don't want to like tie yourself that you cannot do this and do that because you're trying to get, you know, in this case, Mookie, 150 at bats. You know, you don't want to get, you know, 150 at bats with nobody on, you know? You know what I mean? Like, there's a, there's always a thought process and you think, you know, and uh, as you guys know, we make adjustments. I'm not saying we're going back or we're going forward or whatever. Just saying that it's very different than just, oh, yeah, it's the, the two spot, he gets a lot of opportunities. But if your team runs and like to hit and run and then <clears throat> your left-handed hitter, also, he has a lot of bats with nobody on, and they shift, and the shift might go against, you know, against him. It, it really doesn't benefit him. Then you got to think about stuff like that. Isn't that an example of how analytics are good on the back end and not on the front? No, no, I, I don't see it that way. No. I, I actually, I don't, I don't, I don't talk analytics or save metrics. I yeah. say information because that's what it's all about: is information, and, and we use the information the right way. Uh, we create a balance with it. We saw it throughout the playoffs last year. Um, there were certain things that we we use the information to our advantage, and then then were all the things that you know we trust the player. And you know, I don't want to say the track record, but you know, certain things that make sense for us. You know, everybody makes a big deal about noon he pinch hitting against uh, who was it? A Wood. I mean, maybe matchup wise on our grant, our, our our paperwork, it was a Pretty similar matchup as far as like advantage, but knowing Wood and how crafty he is and the angle and all that, we felt that no, you know, it's not a good matchup for Devers, and and Nooney took advantage of it. So it, it, it's cool, you know, to get the information, sit down and talk. Uh, I think the more information you get, the better you prepare. But at the same time, you got to create a balance. Alex, you're a week from opening day. Think back to when you were a player. How itchy, how anxious were you at, at this point? I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to get on that plane on Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it's not that spring training that you go. I mean, it's been great because we, we it's, it's been weird in the sense that we had the three trips and then the rain out. It's, it feels like we need to, like, hop on a plane and be together for X amount of hours. You know, it seems like we've been split apart the whole spring. And uh, last year, it didn't feel that way, probably because I was so excited that I didn't notice it, you know, my first spring training and all that. But it feels that way from the get-go, kind of like the schedule didn't, you know, we went on that, uh, what was it, uh, Bradenton, Dunedin, split squad right away. It was like three days, 
that not the whole squad was together and then you have the trip to the East Coast and then you have the one to Lakeland and Tampa and they have the, the rain out. Kind of like if it feels that way, you know. It's not that we're not, I mean, don't get me wrong. We, we know what we want to do and we're together, but we need to, like, spend more time, you know. And I think hopping on the plane on Sunday, it's kind of like, yeah, we're about to start this off and, and let's get ready. I mean, let's get that mindset that the season starts. Well, he five days since that. He's pitching today, yeah. 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 Threw that break no, no, he threw some bullpens all of that, yeah. He's, he's throwing today. He's actually throwing, uh, um, we're not sure if he's going to go back tomorrow on the main field or he's going to throw a bullpen, but uh, that's going to be like his back to back. Yeah, but no, there's no reason. Kind of where you were hoping to see him? He's good, yeah. I mean, his stuff is good. He has maintained the stuff. Obviously, results, obviously, numbers, whatever that means, but. As far as the stuff, you know, velocity is where we want it. He's been able to bounce back, so we're very pleased. How much um, debate has there been about how to use the extra bullpen spot? That <laughs> it's it's, it's uh, at, uh, on, on a daily basis. That's a, I mean, that's the cool thing about this, you know. Uh, you, you talk to everybody. There's guys that they're working on things and others that are getting people out. And, and we play Seattle, Oakland, Arizona. I mean, sometimes it goes like, oh, this is a better matchup. And there's other stuff that comes into consideration, options, and just be flexible, and how we're going to use the six starter, and where's David at, and all that cool stuff that comes, like, right at the end. But that's what we are here for. You know, I love that stuff, you know, just to start thinking ahead and see what we're going to do. But uh, it's, it's in the morning, before the game, after the game, Texting, calling, you know, it's fun. It's fun. I, I, I like it. I like that part of the job. <coughs> you, you, you're trying to take the, the, the 25 guys up there, you know, and last year we, we surprised a lot of people with the, with, with the pictures we took. We talked about it yesterday. And uh, we might have some surprises this year. I don't know. We might not, but uh, that's, that's cool. Always trying to, to get those guys and, and get ready for the season. The fact that your starters, you know, what, the way you handle them, they're probably not going to put them in the game. I mean, if, if Rick throws the ball the way he did, he might throw nine. <laughs> yeah. But does that affect the bullpen perfection that you might need, you know, somebody who could give you two innings and kind of break the gap? Like no, I, I'm a big believer that you need those guys anyways, yeah. regardless if they can go seven or eight. Um, I think multiple inning guys are a luxury to have. And if you have more than one, it, it's really good. You can maneuver the, the bullpen the way you want to and you can pitch them up four or down two, and then all of a sudden you save your bullpen. So I like that. I like it. Uh, last year, like I, I, I've been saying all along, what Hector and BJ did tr for us, they put us in, in a great spot. Waldy early too. I still remember that game. He has to pitch in Miami. And, you know, he he survived, but he did his job. So I think that's something we we look into it. We we really consider it. You know, we we really like that. So. That's part of what we try to to do. Can you say, if, is there anybody who's not in big big camp that you would consider for Jeff Lagueros? Um, he, who's not in big league camp? Uh, <laughs> I think Mejia is in the hunt. You know, generally saying it, he, he's been throwing the ball well. Um, yesterday he got hit, but what that means? <laughs> yeah, a, a, two hit, two singles, and a double. He was around the plate. You could see after that that the stuff got better. Uh, probably, you know, being too much around the plate uh, didn't help him. But generally, is a guy that we we like the way he's been throwing the ball. The stuff is is getting better, crisper, and velocity is getting up there. You want to see him a couple more times? He'll before? he'll pitch probably. He pitched yesterday, so in two days, probably Saturday. You with those guys, do you want to have that decided before you get on the plane, or is that something you wait through? We'll, we'll keep talking about it. Yeah. yeah. We might we might have our team before Saturday, or I mean before Sunday. We might have our team, you know, in Arizona. But yeah, that's yeah. This is this day we've been talking about it the last few days, you know. And uh, when we have to make decisions, we'll make them.